Who do you think is cuter, Dr. Klein or Dr. Boros? Well, well, look who finally dragged themselves in out of the wasteland. And where have we been? Hmm? Crawling through pits of radioactive muck again? Uh, yes. Well, you do know that those particular organs don't have neurons and are thus incapable of speech. Yes? I don't have... Ugh. I have an inferior frontal gyrus wired directly into a speech synthesizing processor. Your heart can be wired up to a... A thought synthesizing processor! You can't talk to it! Ugh. Well, we certainly wouldn't want to strain your comprehension, would we? Ah, lovely. Figure that out, have we? Would you like a cookie? about the wastes. I'm not the one that makes us clamber around technus infested ancient vaults or go charging off to New Vegas on missions of ill-conceived revenge. And have we forgotten who got us shot in the head and buried in a shallow grave? Hmm? Do you think I enjoyed that little moment? I most certainly am not. I am the seat of all reason and logic in our little partnership. All those feelings that motivate you, that sense of righteousness and that rush you get when you help someone, do you know where those come from? Glands. They come from glands. Free of the tyranny of your ape-like and primitive endocrine system, I can see how foolish your motives are. Well, maybe next time you hear me telling you that charging a knifekin with a penknife is a bad idea, you'll listen. After the think tank extracted me from your skull, they fell to bickering amongst themselves. I'm sad to say we were quite forgotten about. Dr. Mobius saw an opportunity to gain some leverage and had me spirited away to his dome. I don't know. I'm afraid the trauma of our separation rendered me quite insensate. I didn't come around until I was safely ensconced in this tank. I'm quite sure whatever he did was highly scientific, though. Hardly. Dr. Mobius keeps a close optical sensor on the goings-on at the think tank. As soon as he saw the opportunity, he took it. Well, as long as your curiosity is satisfied. I'm not going to lie to you. The prospect is definitely not that appealing. Look at it from my perspective. Here I have peace, quiet, and safety. Well, barring the odd rogue scorpion. In your head, I've got poison, radiation, grisly injuries, and biological functions. Do you know how much more you can get done when you're not constantly looking for places to urinate? It's quite a lot, I can tell you. I can see there's going to be no reasoning with you at all, is there? I'm nothing more than a slave to your deranged glandular whims. Well, certainly there might be some things I miss about being ambulatory. We have seen some incredible sights, haven't we? But still, 
Given the tremendous, potentially life-ending peril that went along with those... Yes. Yes, I'd rather stay here. Of course. Barring the unlikely event that I evolve some sort of rocket-propelled locomotion, I will be here. <laughs> 